Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you've not been here before. Um, today I am doing another styling video, so I'm going to show you five different autumn winter outfit ideas with the trusty jacket, which was in my transitional wardrobe or like autumn wardrobe essentials. Um, I think it's such a good wardrobe essential and we'll see you all the way through to winter and then back through into spring. I just think it's such a great layering piece and also timeless and classic. Um, so, and there's quite a few on the high street, more high end and more kind of high end high street. So there's quite a few to pick from. So I thought I'd show you some of my favorites um, over on the blog and then also show you how to style it over here. So um, this is the one that I'm styling because it's the only one I have and it's quite new to me. I literally love this. I got it in the cream colour because I think it's timeless and I love cream and I wear this colour a lot um, and so it mixes in really well with my wardrobe because I wear a lot of like neutrals and pastels. They also have it in lots of different colours and prints so I will link it below in lots of varying styles. I've also seen it in like longer versions and stuff. I went for the more kind of short version because I feel like it is more of a classic to me and something that I'll get a lot more wear out of and also more kind of like fills a gap in my wardrobe uh, but yes so I'm not going to blabber for any longer I'm going to show you my outfits uh, make sure you stay to the end so that you can see all of them and then leave me a comment and let me know which is your favourite one um, because I just feel like I could I just feel like I had to narrow it down to pick these outfits because I could literally just <laughs> Got a little visitor. I could literally pick outfits for this all day long. Are you all right, Penny? Are you all right there? Um, okay, without further ado, let's go and style my shaggy. Shall we? Yay! So this is the first outfit and I have just got my classic favourite Levi jeans, which I keep meaning to do a styling video on these because honestly, they are the best jeans that I need to do before I can't fit in them anymore. Um, I've got my River Island chunky boots on. I really love this pair. I do feel like they bring something different to the table over my Doc Martens, purely because they are more of a Chelsea boot and they come up higher. Uh, also, they're a bit more comfortable while I'm wearing my Doc Martens in. Um, and then I've just got this polo neck top on. It's actually sleeveless, which I feel like at the moment, like this is a super warm jacket, so that's perfect, because when I take the jacket off then, I've got a nice top on. Uh, but I would wear this with a sleeved polo neck too. I just don't have one to show you guys. Um, and then the jacket, which is so cute. And then I've just added my Chloe bag, which adds a bit of colour to it. Um, kind of makes it a bit more autumnal. I love the colour. Uh, and this is just, I mean, I would wear this outfit to go for lunch, to go shopping, just to nip and do errands. Like, it's super comfy and easy to put together, but still kind of looks like you've made quite a bit of effort. I feel like the autumnal colour of the bag kind of brings together the neutral look and um, makes it just, just adds like the finishing touch. Uh, and then the boots, as you can see, are super chunky like the Doc Martens, but these are my newer ones and they have got a longer leg and more of a Chelsea boot style rather than the lace up, so they're a great alternative. This is just a knitted ribbed top. Um, so as you can see it's sleeveless, but I feel like it's quite a nice top for this kind of transitional period Especially if you're going out for dinner or drinks because um, Like this it just looks very autumnal and casual But then once you get to the venue you can look a bit more dressed up like this Then I've just switched out the top and the shoes for this so I've got the same bag and same jeans and same jacket and this is a bit more casual but also a bit more dressed up in a different way. I feel like the Gucci loafers kind of elevate the look um, in a way because obviously they just have that kind of chic look about them. Uh, but then obviously I've got a t-shirt on which really casuals it down. So I feel like maybe it's like the same level of dressed up but this one is a lot more for like maybe a warmer day and the other one with the boots and the high neck is maybe more for a bit of a chilly a day but I really like the loafers especially with these cut off jeans I feel like they're such an easy pair of shoes to wear especially for this time of year and they're so comfortable um, to like walk around all day in um, and then this t-shirt it's just one that I got from Topshop on sale literally like a year ago I think you guys if you've been following me for a while and watch all my videos will remember me getting this in the Topshop sale at Christmas time um, but yeah I just love this kind of neutral palette I feel like it's really nice. Again, the bag brings it together. It looks nice held or crossbody, but I like it like this for this look. 
I think the cream jacket with the nude top and then the denim look really nice together. I feel like all these tones tie in perfectly to create a really nice colour palette. And then the shoes are just the finishing touch for a kind of more luxe finished look. Then I've gone for a super duper casual kind of monochrome look uh, with like cream and black. Um, for my third look and so these skinny jeans I've told you guys about them a million times they're from Matalan and they are so good um, so I'd highly recommend them I will link them below um, and then I've got my Doc Martens on because I just feel like I really like that kind of chunky boot look with the skinny jeans I don't have a bag because this is the sort of outfit that I would wear without a bag if I was like just sniffing out to get coffee or like do some errands um, and then I've got a cream sweatshirt on with a print and I feel like this would work with a uh, slogan tee as well look really nice just to like add a bit of colour to the outfit and like a little bit of detail and show like the difference between the jacket and the top um, but they're still quite tonal uh, and I feel like it looks really nice and also it's just so comfy and warm so this is the sweatshirt underneath and it's just a cheap top shop one I will link it below and I really like the colour of it and I just think it works perfectly with this and kind of goes in with that like lumberjack kind of vibe um, especially because it's like Wyoming um, so yeah I really like the kind of look of this for a more relaxed look and I'd wear this with the blue jeans too but I just wanted to show you guys a variety of different looks and bottom halves. So this next look is kind of that super casual 90s vibe that I've been loving baggy loose ripped jeans it's oversized pastel jumper and then i've just got the jacket on top and it's just really to prove that you can throw it over any outfit and it looks perfect i mean this is like the perfect outer layer for this because it kind of balances out all of the different colors in the outfit and it also kind of makes still makes the lilac look really nice and light on the top half whereas if it has mint black i feel like it would be too much um and it's also super warm especially with the jumper underneath it's like extra cozy um so yeah i've got my oversized jumper that i'm obsessed with it's new and i love it my jeans that you guys will be sick of seeing at this point i love them and then i've got my doc martens on and my prada bag because i feel like this is like the perfect 90s accessory that you have to have with every 90s vibe look and of course I've got the Doc Martens, how I've been loving wearing them at the moment with the jeans over the top. It kind of reminds me of the Doc Martin brogues, which I also love. So it's kind of like having two shoes in one. And this oversized lilac jumper is so perfect and comfy and cosy and I love it. It would look great with the black jeans this outfit would too. Um, or anything really I'd wear with joggers. Uh, but it's super comfy and also I don't feel like it looks too scruffy despite the ripped jeans. Um, and this jumper actually comes in loads of different colours too. So I feel like this would look nice with any kind of insert, any colour underneath. And then the last look is definitely by far my favourite because it's so comfy and cosy. Um, so I just want to show you that it literally goes with everything. So I've got it with my joggers, which I extremely jazzy because I've been wearing them around the house. So please don't look too closely. Um, but yeah, they're so comfortable. I just love these joggers because uh, I feel like they're the only ones that I would really wear out of the house. Um, and it looks so nice with the cream and the grey and like all the nice light kind of peaceful sleepy tones um, neutrals I think they look really nice and clean together um, but yeah then I've got my obviously my socks are always showing there's someone on my YouTube who always comments about my socks and I'm like oh my goodness I'm 30 years old I do not like having cold ankles deal with it <laughs> I wear socks um, and I like the chunky socks so it's socks showing I feel like it's got that 90s look it's really cool um, then I've got my new balance trainers on and I've just literally got a plain white tee on this would look really cool with the um, sweatshirt that I showed you before too just showing you a variety though guys um, and yeah this is just such a easy to wear casual outfit that is so comfy uh, and then add a little Prada bag makes it look a bit more elevated too I think with the white t-shirt underneath it looks super cute and then I've pulled the joggers up high um, so you've got like meet in the middle kind of look and they look a bit high-waisted um, and I feel like it's a very cute little tonal look and these are my favourite New Balance and the first ones I got they are such a classic pair that will never go out of style in my opinion and like a classic dad trainer. 
So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite look is. I actually think that the last one's my favorite because I just love anything comfy and I feel like it looks really cool as well as being comfortable. And this outfit is gonna be super bump friendly, um, which is perfect for me. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear what your guys' favorite outfit is. And also, what do you want me to style next? Let me know and I will get right on that. And I will see you next time. Bye.